The objective within this lesson is to connect division by a unit fraction to division by one-tenth and one-hundredth. Read this using unit form. That's seven ones divided by one-tenth. Let's rewrite this expression using a fraction. What question did this division expression ask us? It's asking us how many tenths are in seven. Seven is one-tenth of what number? Let's start with just one whole. How many tenths are in one whole? Right, there are ten tenths in one whole. So if there are ten tenths in one whole, how many are in seven holes? Right, seventy tenths. Let's think of this another way. Seven is one-tenth of what number? One-tenth of seventy is equal to ten. Seven. Let's rewrite this using unit form. Seventy-four tenths divided by one-tenth equals seventy-four. There are seventy tenths in seven holes. There are four tenths in four tenths, so that there are seventy-four tenths in seven point four. There's my thought process. Seven divided by one hundredth. Rewrite this expression using a fraction for the divisor. That's 7 divided by 1 hundredth. We can think of this as finding how many hundredths are in 7. Will our quotient be greater or less than our last problem? Quotient this time will be greater because we're counting units that are much smaller. Let's think first. There are blank hundredths in one whole. Answer is right, 100. So in seven holes, we write there are 700. Seven hundred hundredths in seven holes. This is a similar type problem. We have seven holes still, but we also have four tenths. We'll need to know how many hundredths are in four tenths. How many hundredths are in seven holes? Let's break apart this problem. We just did this. How many hundredths are in four tenths? Right, 40. So add those two together, we get 740. Here, our dividend, what we're dividing, has changed. Our holes is 7 and 49 hundredths. 
So what's changed is now instead of having just 7 and 4 tenths, we have 49 hundredths. Let's start with how many hundredths are in 7. Again, that answer is 700. How many hundredths in 49 hundredths? Right, you get 49. So add those two together, we get 749. Seven and forty nine hundredths divided by one hundredth equals seven hundred forty nine. Here's two problems for you to try. Six and two tenths divided by one hundredth, and six and two tenths divided by one tenth. Pause the video while you do your work. There are 600 hundredths in 6, and then so 20 hundredths within 2 tenths, so that's 620. And 600 hundredths in 6 helped us solve that problem. For 6 and 2 tenths divided by 1 tenth, you get... you get 62. Look over your work. That was the same as saying 6.2 divided by 1 tenth. The same as saying 6.2 divided by 1 hundredth.